Okay, let's get started. So this is the piece of paper that you will have. It says, our favorite food is pizza, would be a yellow zigzag. Has an E in the first, their first name is a blue spiral. We have a green who has, if you have a, a green arch, if you have a brother, if you play an instrument, a purple zigzag. If you have a pet, a red arch. If you have a pink, if you have a, zi a pink zigzag for each sister that you have. Orange spiral, if you can wink. Red zigzag, if you're wearing something red. Has brown eyes, a yellow spiral. Likes chocolate ice cream, a blue arch. Can tie my shoes, a purple arch. Can speak two or more languages, orange zigzag. Has been to the beach, green spiral. Loves to read, yellow arch. Is missing a tooth, green zigzag. For each tooth you're miss losing, you've lost, or are missing right now. And then a purple spiral. So let's learn about some of the things that we're going to need. We are going to need a piece of paper. It is going to be a square piece of paper. The first thing I need you to do is I need you to write your name on the bottom of your paper and I want you to write your grade. So we're gonna pretend I'm in 5B. Okay, so then there it is. I'm gonna turn it back over. So the first thing I wanna say is I want to do a yellow zigzag because I like pizza. I do, it may not be my favorite favorite, but it is one of my favorite foods. So I can take my strip of paper that I have and I'm going to fold it over. And then I can fold it over this way to line them up again. I can take it like this. So it's like maybe like a folding an accordion fan. I can also take it and fold it over my finger And you don't have to use the whole strip. You can use as much as you would like. So I think I'm gonna do about that. So I'm gonna cut my sculpture, my, my piece of paper. So the thing is, is every single thing has to have feet. So right now I need everybody to stand up and you see that you have your feet to be able to stand up on. So even with our sculpture, we have two feet there on the end. Okay, this foot's gonna go this way and this foot's gonna go this way. So I have to make sure that I know I have to make feet for my piece of paper. Even if I'm going to make, let's see here, a red arch for my dog, Toby. So I want to fold one piece up and I want to fold one piece up. Right now, now I have two legs. Okay, they can stand up like this, they could be like this. He could have like walking feet. You can have crisscross legs. So the thing is, is that that is, we have to have two feet for them to be able to be glued onto. So let's glue some of these on. We're gonna be using stick glue today because I do not have my favorite kind of glue, but you do need a messy mat for sure. So let's see here. Oh, let's put just a little bit of glue on there. So I'm gonna take this and just put a little bit more glue on this side over here. Glue's a little old. Okay, and then you're gonna take your two feet and I'm going to say I wanna do it like this way. So I'm gonna hold one foot down and then I'm gonna hold my other foot down and I'm gonna hold it there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then I wanna kinda give it a little rub. Okay, so I have those right there. Okay, and then I wanna see about this, this, this little zigzag line. Okay, we've got this, this line that's turning, that's a piece of, that was a piece of paper, it's still a piece of paper, but now we've turned it into a three dimensional object. And I actually am going to make it like this. I'm actually gonna make it attached to the top of this. So I'm gonna put some glue right here on this edge. And then I'm gonna put glue on this foot. So I'm gonna put this one underneath. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna take this one and put this over top like this. So I'm gonna line them up just like that. One, two, three, four, five. So right now, my sculpture looks like that. 
we are trying to make a three-dimensional object. So these are two-dimensional, they're flat, and then we are making them into three-dimensional. Okay, so the next thing, let's see here. How about we do a orange spiral? I know how to wink. Can you wink? So this is when we need to take our pencil and we take our pencil like this and we hold the piece of paper on here and we wrap it around the piece of paper. Okay, don't go. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna roll it between my fingers one time, then I'm gonna take the pencil out. And here we go. There is a spiral. Ta-da! So I am going to put my spiral, I think I'm going to put it right here because I can wink. So we also want to think about composition. That means how we're laying out our objects. So I could do all of my, I've got to make sure I have a foot on there. Make sure that all of my objects are looking appropriate. So there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Good pressure on there. I'm putting my lid on my glue right now just so you guys can see what we're looking at. Okay, also, let's see here. It says, oh, this one we've got to really do. Loves art class. So let's do one more spiral. So we're going to take it in the pencil and pull it. Oop. You got to kind of pull it tight going over itself. So if you get this like technique down and one of your friends doesn't know how to do it, please help your friend. There's another purple spiral. I think I want to have it. Maybe coming off the top of this. I don't know. So with that case, I'm going to do... One right here. Okie dokie. So now we're still getting there. It is still, we're working all the way around. Putting my glue lid back on. I have, let's see here. I have another spiral because I have an E in my first name. What is my first name? My first name is Jane. So I want to make sure that I have a spiral. I could even do it like this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a different kind of spiral. So I'm going to do one way. And stop there. Take it out. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. And yours is not going to look like mine. You may not have an E in your name in your first letter. So now I've kind of got like a mustache. And I'm going to put my mustache, I'm going to put glue in the middle of my mustache. Okay, dokie. I'm gonna continue to make my sculpture. I wanna also make sure that by the end of it, I'm gonna have my name right here. Just to make sure that when we put all these out on the tables for your parents to see at curriculum night, that they're all, they that everybody can find yours. So right now we have, my name is Jane, and I have just a few pieces of paper on here. I will take a picture of this one when it is finished, when I've done all of these things. So right now I have a purple spiral because I love art class. I'm gonna need to add a green spiral because I've been to the beach. I love to read, I need a yellow one. I can tie my shoe, I need to do a purple one. I like chocolate ice cream, I need to do a blue arch. So we're going to have some more things we got to add. So I will take a picture of this one after I am done.